look at that. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. Uh, I'm very sorry for that. I was sick. But yeah, I am back and with this brand new machine. I mean, it's not brand new, but it is a new machine to me. So this is a Suzuki TVS V-Matic Eco, I think. I don't know. But it's a very special engine in that it doesn't work the way you would expect it to work because it's essentially a scooter that drives a chain which is something I've never heard about but works surprisingly well. It's barely even used, look at this. If you take a look in here, you'll notice that there are 500 kilometers on the clock. And funnily enough, that's less than what is needed to finish breaking the engine in. Yeah, so this bike is not broken in yet. It's still, it's almost unused. And you can see how long it should take if you just open the gas cover. Take a look at this. Do not exceed 30 kilometers per hour. First 750 kilometers. <laughs> this bike is essentially brand new. With all of the rest being from the fact that it stood still for about 35 years, I guess. But as you see, it's in beautiful shape. Look at this. The leather isn't ripped. All of the stickers are in prime condition and there's no rust on this entire bike. Now, the real reason I bought this bike is because this engine really caught my attention. I mean, it's a beautiful cylinder and everything. It's controlled by a reed valve and uh, it's got a very neat gearbox which is on the other side. So let's show you that. So this is a CVT. Like, how is it in here? Then there's a gearbox to like change the gear ratio and then it goes to the back wheel with a chain which is frankly the coolest solution I've ever seen to put a CVT on a moped. The curb comes out here, the reed valve intake is there and then this beautiful big cylinder head is here. So let's, uh, let's try to start her up. Ah, she really doesn't want to go. Let's let's take a look at the carb. And this is the inside. Reed valve and the shitty Chinese car. You know what? I'll drain the entire gas because there's centuries old gas in this. Like that. Okay, so as you can see, this is the original car for the bike. And I'll try to fix her up. We've got the intake and the air filter all original. Oh, you have to be kidding me. Oh. Okay, so here's the problem. There is nothing I can put in there. But such a thing can go, go on like that. I can get this to seal up on that, which can let me put this banjo bolt on here, which will be pressed down like so. I just need to shorten this bolt so it seals. Okay, as good as new. That's such a cool solution. I mean, I would have never thought to do something like that. What the hell is this? So, as you can see, this has turned into a bit of a slower video. She starts, but the carb, um, I'll show you right now. So, as you see, this is the carb, and uh, to make the fuel thing work, I just coated it in silicone so it doesn't, you know, leak. But then I noticed something else, is that, what the hell is going on? In what? What the heck is inside of there? Uh, that's not gonna work. Even though the bike started up with this carb on there. So, what am I going to do? 
what in the world? So, just so the bike works, uh, it does move from A to B, uh, and it's it's incredibly smooth. I've never ridden a scooter before, but this is definitely the same experience, just on a chassis from the 80s. A moped chassis. Yeah, it's honestly very cool to ride, and um, I've never seen something quite like it. But yeah, what am I going to do? I am going to make a custom intake manifold, which I can mount a Delorto car mount to. And why can't I do that right now? Well, step one, this is a smaller diameter than what the Delorto carbs have. I mean, this is a Delorto carb, but it's very special with the whole thing being skewed. And um, also the frame clearance. It, this, this clears the frame because, you know, it's half of the carb is missing. But a normal carb does not have half of it missing, so it cannot be mounted. Yeah, custom intake manifold. Put a beautiful, nice carb on there, and um, she's ready to roll. There's nothing else wrong with the bike. Just yeah, maybe. I mean, if I'm at that stage, I'll check the reeds, maybe replace those, because I'm. I suspect that could be part of the problem. But yeah. Thank you very much for watching, and um, the next video should should hopefully come sooner than this one. Have a nice day.